the other way to do this periodically like a better way is actually occasionally giving free stuff all right welcome to the show i'm chuck your art coach can i call myself a coach so today's topic is um why pricing so difficult um, in art perspective so i think the main point the main point why um pricing your art is so difficult is money is objective and art is subjective it's a two complete different thing right because art is so subjective that you have a lot of different opinions on what good art is um, this person's art is good to you doesn't mean it's good to everyone else. Uh, you like this kind of style doesn't mean everyone else like this kind of style, you know. So on that viewpoint, for an artist, it is so hard for them to determine the objective value of an art because it is so subjective. You don't have um, the guidelines to say, okay, what kind of quality, what kind of price? Um, because there's a lot of like variables that affect just the uh, pricing in just in general. Um, one of one of the thing that I think Alex just uh, mentioned it. It's more of a you're not confident enough or uh, about your worth uh, when it comes to your art, right? And it is just like the statement of if you if you sell your shit too cheap people will think um you're worthless people will think like your art means nothing and if you sell your shit too expensive people will think you're narcissist right there's like no no win here as an artist, it all comes down to your own personal experience when it comes to pricing your art. And as 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 a new artist, to start selling your commission online or however you want to do it, there's no real guideline for them because most of uh because when when you look up to people that are already been in the industry for years and years right and you ask them hey how 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 exactly i do i price my art you are asking someone that has been into uh, that has been doing um, art professionally for years and years for many many years and obviously they would say like yeah sell your shit expensive because it is a skills i mean they're not wrong um, a skill is very expensive in nowadays um, contacts just because um, not everyone can do it, right? But bear in mind, you as a new artist, you don't have much, much ex- exposure. And back to the point that um, there's like no real indication on what the value of an art is because skills varies every person. Like... My skills is different from any other artist that I know. From from uh, it it's the uh, it is different from David to is different from Arrow. It's different from person to person, and it's kind of hard for you to come up with a fixed price in that sense because there is no um, formula to it. Uh, there is actually a formula now that a lot of people have been using. We will talk about it later. Um, another driving force pricing art is how niche it is exactly like how unique your shit is right and people often forget that art is a luxury item it it, it is not essential I will talk about that later yeah it, it depends on what kind of service you can give to a lot of artists including me being very careful when it comes to commission just because one is because it's not our expertise 
for example, I don't draw chibis because it's not my expertise, right? I draw painting style stuff or anime style stuff or black and white because at least I know a lot of them. I know like lining, I know painting, I know anime style kind of drawing. So essentially I can do a lot of things. But for people that, even that is a problem to me to to price my shit because I don't know how much should I price my black and white piece um and then next to th- uh, next to that i have like uh full blown anime kind of style like wallpaper and then on top of that i also have like kind of like a professional kind of painting style i don't know how to differentiate uh, those um those style as in how much it worth and basically it happens to everyone i guess and that if we we just talking about like skills there are also other variables that we need we need to to take into considerations um basically like uh style professional uh professionalism level very important right professionalism um level popularity a lot of things yeah 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 i based on how long it would take me to do it but then it is also kind of like hard for me to decide like the formula like uh like the piece that I'm working on right now even though it will take kind of like the same time as some of the art that I work on but is it is much harder like this because I have to think about color theory and all that kind of shit for anime kind of style like um sort of uh wallpaper kind of style it will take a lot of time for detailing and shit but it's not as hard because the color theory on that is really simple like anime color theory is not really it's not really hard you don't you don't think about light reflection you don't think about um all that kind of shit uh and i think nowadays people are coming to conclusion that the best way to start selling um commission and setting up your price uh this is what we talk about people are coming up with a formula right so this is like the the standard formula that people use so mostly people will take um a minimum wage rate and rate the price by like um how many hours they work on that shit and that is a whole formula for it and basically i'm also using the same exact formula it just like um a lot of people still think it is a little bit expensive even though it's like minimum wage just because all the 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 the, the variables that we just talked about like style popularity professionalism level right so a lot of people have a lot lower opinions on on their piece rather than just uh try to follow the market um in that sense i don't even my even even my piece is not like is even lower than minimum wage um in the US as 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 an artist at least not like as minimum wage um as a normal job because i i i i talked to david about this i talked to him and he was like 20 bucks is like 20 bucks an hour is like where the sweet spot for for a starter to to price their stuff but again we were looking at someone that you know really experienced like painting style and his work is just amazing when i look at his work and then compare it to my work i know exactly how he can start with 20 dollars an hour because of the level of understanding that he has uh toward his artwork he's like coloring lighting is um i would say a master right he knows everything about that shit So it's a little hard for me to put 20 bucks an hour. So I go for like 15 bucks an hour. Which is lower than what I should start off. But most people will use minimum wage by the hours they work. So basically what is the US minimum wage now? $7.25. So pick that and then like multiply it to how many hours you work on on an art, right? If you if you put into perspective, 
depends on the state. Some places, um, twelve dollar an hour. Okay, so if you put in that into perspective, right? Even twelve dollar dollar an hour, it's not that much. For 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 an artist, um, depends on your level, obviously. Um, I could live with fifteen dollar an hour. It's just because the situation of my country have a lower currency rate than 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 the U.S. So that's why I can lift off even with less than minimum uh, less than what I should shoot for. Imagine a lot of people in the U.S. that live, especially in metropolitan area. Like like Frank said, um, so the living rate is extremely expensive, right? And I don't I don't think you can make that uh, you you can make a living that are comfortable with just twelve dollar an hour, because commission doesn't come every day. In a month, I would say, for my experience, in a month I have like at least five, sometimes none. Sometimes I just depends on my Patreon. It depends on my Twitch payouts, right? So as an artist, if you sell your shit for twelve dollar an hour, even though it sounds reasonable, if you put into perspective that you didn't get a commission every um every single day like a normal job, if you have a normal job twelve dollar an hour, then you you can live off right, live off that paycheck, but if you don't really have commission, I mean, uh, every single day, you can't really make a living out of it. That's why when it comes to art, uh, you have to price a little bit extreme. Again, we were talking about why is it hard for someone to, to price their stuff. It's just because we don't have enough self-confidence, really. We don't have enough self-confidence. We don't really eno- have enough um, exposure, professionalism level. And popularity. The more popular someone's get, the higher their values are. Like Dueco or Melted Bun. She's one of the biggest Instagram uh, artists that I know. And also top 0.1%. Is it top 0.1? No, it's top 1%. Top 1%. Top 1% if you like, top 0.1% if you have. 500 concurrent viewers every stream. Um, she have like 300, uh, 200 to 400 concurrent viewers. So she was like around top 1% of, um, of stream, right? Her price, one piece full body was like $1,000. And people still pay for it. People still commission her a lot because of that popularity size. So I think it really depends on someone's exposi- uh, exposure, someone's popularity to kind of like set a bar for their price. Again, the more popular, the more popular someone is, um, the higher value they are. And then more, most of the is just a thing they're not, not good enough, basically. Um, considering if they're not like narcissists, right? <laughs> not even for like minimum wage. <clears throat> Always someone willing to pay if you're skilled enough. Yeah, um, I really want to talk about that a little bit. Because I want to talk about why uh, people's perspective on your art. Like, uh, why, why underselling yourself is bad for yourself and for the market, right? Like, let's talk that, uh, about that a little bit. So, undersell. Why is it bad for you? Um, I know a lot of new artists kind of approach it that way. And I did the same too, which is... Which is why I'm sitting at $15 an hour instead of $50 an hour, right? <laughs> because it, it is based on like my experience um, rather than people's experience. It happens to me. So the way I see it, as, an, as a new artist, if, if you are a new artist, so pay attention to this, right? As a new artist, I know that what, what we just said is true. Like your popularity decides how expensive you are. And that's true for everything, right? So when you get into this industry, fastest way, I mean, I mean, mediocre thinking, right? Mediocre thinking. The faster way you want to grow your community is sell a shit cheap so that people look at you and be like, yeah, I want to commission that. Just 
fast money, right? When you put your price so low, for example, like I used to sell my shit for five bucks a piece, <laughs> right? And then, yes, people will come to you, people will pay you, people will, will, will you know, flood your community, but you attract the wrong crowd. You attract a crowd that don't really appreciate your art. They just there because you sell your shit for cheap. Um, you'll gain following and a loyal base and exposure. Weed them out. <laughs> um, I have a very, actually a very, uh, a better way to do that rather than sell your shit for, uh, for cheap, actually. It is a lot better. We'll talk about it later. Let me just get my point across a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a point. Like you attract the wrong crowd from the get go. Um, a lot of us, um, including me, approach approach it in a very me- mediocre and most expected dumb fuck ways. Selling selling art for for very cheap. They need to like your stuff, not your price. Exactly. Thank you, Black. Um, there are definitely much better ways to grow following than cheap commission. I've seen too many cheap commission and still nobody cares. Exactly because the wrong crowd. Uh, the way you attract these people is like, yo, they do cheap shit. Okay, I want, I want some, I want some shit. I want some cheap art. And then when they get the art, they not uh, appreciating it enough because they pay for cheap, uh, cheap. And then they just leave you. Once they get their stuff, they just leave you. They don't care anymore. The other way to do this, periodically, like a better way, is actually occasionally giving free stuff. Why Why does it sound... It, it sh- it's supposed to be worse because you're giving shit for free. But think about it. A lot of like entrepreneur, for example, like the very, very um, famous entrepreneur, right? Like Gary Vee. Gary Vee was like people... Uh, some big ass company will pay him thousand and dollars an hour to give a speech. But he also do some free talk like uh, talk shows online, like on YouTube and all that kind of shit. Actually, a lot of people make... A lot of money just giving free shit. When you give people free shit, occasionally, not always, I have to rephrase it, occasionally, not always giving them free shit, right? Occasionally give people free stuff will gain you a loyalty um, points. People will come to you and people will stay because they just appreciate you as an artist. They appreciate what you give to, to people. And at some point in the future, when they have money and because they have d- developed this special um they have developed this special re- relationship with uh, the artist itself uh, themselves they will be like okay now i have the money i really want to support him right so they don't mind pay a lot more on 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 that matter gig messy you got big through weekly raffles exactly fans are like friends if they like you they uh, uh for the free stuff then they earn legit <laughs> when we when we talk about long term relationship when you uh, they start off uh, following you because they want some free shit i know that right but then they will like develop this kind of relationship with you because they just be there like forever at some point they just like be friend rather than someone that come to your stream and commission you for cheap and then just leave never 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 care about you ever again because they get what you they want for for people that get free shit, essentially they will stay, um, because they really want it. But then they stay long enough to actually know you as a person to actually develop uh, a special kind of relationship with you, um, more than people that actually pay you for shit. Uh, a lot of, I would love to say, a lot of successful people does this. Like I just say, like Gary V, Gary V, one of the most successful entrepreneur, turned three three millions um company a year to fifty millions in just how many years? Two three years. He's like one of the one of the one of the best entrepreneur in the world, and he does this. He do give free shit. Your free stuff and your paid stuff shouldn't be in the same quality. You know what I mean? You can give free shit. So, a lot of, like, free shit and stuff. Harry Seller. One of the... One of the... Um, I would say successful streamer. Uh, in a sense of having... 
bigger numbers on his subscriber than his um concurrent viewers like two to one i guess he has two as much twice as much subscriber than the concurrent viewer he has i think because he had he get like almost 200 subscribers every single time he stream so he has like two to one um ratio of subscriber to viewers two subscriber per one viewers very successful and the only thing that he do is give free shit the 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 music that you listen in the background right now is from harry seller he's the one who 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 do who create this um stream beat for people to listen to on stream and not get copyright strike you can use it on youtube you can use it on stream giving free shit look how successful uh he is right now so i think it's like um a very important way to gain community size a decent community size rather than just give shit f- uh, for cheap i think the level of appreciation of free things over time will give you a lot more um loyalty than uh cheap stuff cheap stuff short term and free stuff long term it's kind of weird people would say people would argue giving free shit too much obviously will will um hurt your community in that way but a lot of successful people have shown that that is actually not the case now that we have like um talk about this for for quite a few like the problem the core problem and shit the way to combat it i guess it is really mediocre conclusion here like how to combat this kind of um problem right why is it so hard for you to price uh price tag your your art it is actually very very simple but not easy to do <laughs> the best way is like research obviously do a lot of research go and talk to people that have been in the industry for quite a while not like the high professional people more so like people that have been in the industry for like a year or two means like they know how exactly hard it is to start selling your shit and how exactly to keep doing it in a progressive manner if you talk to people that have worked in this industry for like 15 17 20 years they just be like they have so much of um confidence in themselves or of their work because they have been doing this for forever right they just will tell you to 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 start big try to look for someone that not really as experienced but have adequate amount of experience but not that one of uh not that 1% kind of people top 1% kind of people you can also like talk to these people as in ask ask them for a critic or something like that you know you can send your art and shit and then ask them like if you were me how much would you price this talk to your community the way i set my price up you know a lot of people know i've been underselling myself for quite a while before i'm actually staying at a decent price <laughs> even though it's a little bit low still but it is a very decent price $15 an hour is decent enough for me um before this $30 for a full rendered piece right $30 for like the art I spent for 12 hours or some shit that was crazy <laughs> it's only like what $2 $2 an hour or some shit that was crazy so talk to your community the way I do it I talk to my community talk to your loyal um viewers and stuff like that and be like hey if I were to sell my my commission how much w- uh, would you pay and talk to someone that knows a lot about in and out market about industries um uh, as in general um talk to someone that have a lot of experience in marketing entrepreneur and that kind of shit there's a lot of people like that um um in 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 this world actually we're not just fucking trolls right <laughs> a lot of a lot of us actually have brain even though we're a gremlin sometimes the next one is really really simple self confidence i can't 
I can't tell you how to do this because I don't know. It's on you to actually improve your self confidence. I I can boost you with words and shit, but it's only back to you on how exactly to deal with it. You just have to be confident enough with in yourself to put such a price. And I'm still having trouble with it too, so I can't really say anything, say too much about it in that sense. And realize that you selling full blown render drawing um, with a background of a night Tokyo view for five bucks hurting the economy and yourself in the long run. Just just realize that because what it what it did to 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 the whole community is um it make people forget that art is a luxury item it's not an essential item no one's in the hell need needs some you know anime drawing to live you can live off without that shit if you really need it, just go online and download some photos, I guess. <laughs> right? So, it's not essential item. Don't sell it like people need it. But sell it because people want it. Essentially, if you want it, you gotta pay more. If you need it, it's only essential for you to get a, a, a fair price of that. But you don't need it. People don't need art. People want it because it's a it's a luxury item, and just realize the fact that it is a luxury item, um, in that sense. And instead of feeling guilty, asking too much for your price. Feel guilty actually ruining the market for exclusivity uh, exclusivity of the art for the market, like instead of instead of feel bad about. Yeah, people probably don't want to pay me that much and that kind of shit. Just feel... just You should feel bad that you sell your shit for cheap because that will hurt the community in the long run. It will affect everyone on this industry um, and it will kill the luxuriness, the exclusivity of an art as, as, um, as a product. So feel bad doing that instead <laughs> and i think that's all thank you so much for listening and watching if you like what you saw toss a like if you don't like it just dislike it comment down below what kind of discussion you wanna you wanna have later on and join the discussion 